mod out. Come into my garden. Uh, so, uh, this is my lemongrass. And my jalapeno pepper. And that rose uh, is still alive despite being ignored. <laughs> and over here, we have the garden. Uh, the Everglades tomatoes have gone wild. I have one uh, European eggplant, and I've gotten two eggplants from it. It's got three growing right now. So, yeah, it's, doing so good. it's producing. Uh, everybody says this is beets. I thought I planted Swiss chard, so I don't know what's growing. I've got cabbage. Only one kale came up, even though kale's supposed to grow like gangbusters here. I think this might be charred. Green beans have done terribly. Yeah, every once in a while we get a little bean. And you can pick those if you want. Uh, and uh, we have, uh, I think that's Brussels sprouts, and not sure what those things are. <laughs> there might be some broccoli might over be, there. Might be some, I don't think it's broccoli. I don't think I grew up broccoli. Um, uh, collards, maybe, and uh, cauliflower. Uh, do have some beans coming up here. These are going to be the uh, yard-long beans. And they're supposed to climb up the and climb trellis. Up. Yeah, they're going to like. The, and behind that is all the arugula because arugula apparently is very happy. <laughs> yeah, it just grows and grows. That's She's been giving away arugula. Yeah, uh, pineapples. And then I have a bunch of little. Um, What's this? Sea grapes. And this is our queen palm. No, it's a royal palm. Oh, it's a royal palm. It's not a queen palm. And and uh, it'll it'll pick up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not doing so well now. It wasn't happy after the transplant, but um, here's the the bougainvillea is trying to come back. Yeah, it's it's been there a long time and it's had some issues. It was much better earlier in the year. This is. Um, uh, American Beauty, Beauty, Beauty Berry, American Beauty Berry, I think. Um, it, it gets its berries in the fall and it, it's already dropped them, so it's now been cut back. This is my neem tree. And I actually need a... What did you neem it? <laughs> a taller <laughs> pole so I can keep it straight while it gets, while it gets, um, and this is a something lily. We used to think they were corn plants, but then we found out that they're not. They're C, something with a C. Did you, did you get a picture of the flower? Very nice. Um, smells, is a nice fragrance if you get up real close and smell it. I've um, got another one coming here. Um, and we had three blossoms that have already died. Here's our blue garbage can. Blue garbage can. A couple more pineapples. Lynn's, Lynn's busy. They for some reason don't look like they're doing very well. Um, this is a banana. Oh, it's uh, already got a baby one coming yeah, up. Yeah, it's got a baby one. I, I, that should be much taller than it is, and it isn't. Um, papaya. Papaya. This one's getting taller. This one doesn't seem to be getting much taller. Well, it's definitely got... It's taller and has greater girth than when we it's, got it's, it. It's getting better. I mean, it's, it's, it's growing leaves, so that's good. We have raccoons, little raccoons at night that come out and eat things. So we're not sure. They might have been eating some of the lower leaves of those. And I think, didn't you say they were eating the leaves off of this over here? Yeah. It, it, this is um, a, a and, and it should not be looking like this. But I, I think, I think it's been stripped of leaves. Yeah. You, and don't, you don't see too many leaves on the ground. And, um, I think so, I caught a raccoon doing it. So, so, so somebody thinks it's yummy. <laughs> That's another secret. Here's our little cactus garden. We, somebody was throwing them out and we saved them. And they seem to be and doing fine. Yeah, now they have little blossoms. Oh, what happened here? What happened to the little... The, so I think somebody ate the little flowers out. Yeah. Look at that. Rat, 
rascals. Yeah, well, somebody likes those too. This is our um, avocado tree, and it hasn't grown much either, but it's got all kinds of buds just ready to shoot out this, this summer, I guess. I'm hoping we, when we come back in the fall, it'll be gigantic. But it probably won't. This is another of our banana trees. It also isn't very tall. That's bigger than when we planted it, though. Uh, this is not doing very well. I need to cut it back and um, spray it some more. It has some diseases. Um, it's a, a supposedly edible hibiscus, but um, it, I'm not. I'm not eating that. <laughs> yeah. And this is a Chinese spinach, and it doesn't look very good either. It hasn't been very happy. Uh, I guess. It's supposed to go wild, but in the winter, none of these things grow very much, so we got it last fall. I wonder if there's a pH problem with that. Crinum lily, that's what those are. Crinum, right? yeah. Crinum there's some, kind of some more crinum lilies there. And I think that's, that's sort of the end of anything that's been actually planted here. Um, there's our um, huge water tank that filled up in one night's rain and because it was overflowing and we didn't have the overflow valve installed yet water ran down the side of it and undermined these two legs so now it's listing so we emptied it and, and we're gonna take it off of there and put big bricks underneath the legs and straighten it up but boy, it fills up fast when it rains. Yeah, we need a bigger one. <laughs> and we've got another one around that side. It needs now that we have new gutters. Yeah, we have new gutters. Show us the, the front of the house, the, your garden from the road. Show us how, how much different and better the and curb appeal is now that you've done all kinds of work. They're happy. Yeah, the begonias like it here. The, the um, angel begonia, angel wing, are not that happy. This one kind of died. These guys are just, they're, they're, um, they don't really get much sun, but they, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're happy here. And here's another water water barrel that we have to put a spigot on and it goes up here and gets connected to the water coming out of there. Oh, where's our, oh it's in in the front, our little... Oh, and, and there's our shed, our new shed. Oh yeah, give us a tour of the new shed. <laughs> you mean, it's going to be hard to do, there's too much stuff in it. Well, we'll look. This is my new chipper shredder so I can make my own compost. I haven't started doing it yet. I need to make an area for it. And this is the new shed that we now have stuffed with tile for the house, bicycles, and various other things. A lot of furniture because we're doing tiling. We didn't get it any too soon. <laughs> uh, it's a cute little Aluminum sided building. Oh, and those are coconuts that we're coconut palms that we're going to try and grow. Oh, yeah, we're going to have coconuts. <laughs> Someday, like when I'm 80, we're going to have coconuts. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we're not sure how easy it is to grow from the coconut, but we found those coconuts, and they supposedly, if you shake them and there's water still in them, then that's what you want to plant. So, and you only half plant them. Show us the, the little trailer we got for $50. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> it is. You can't buy a trailer for $50. There's our trailer for $50. And we use it all the time. Yep. Yeah. Use it all the time. All stuff in it. And there's yet another pineapple plant. Can't have too many. And this palm tree here is doing much better since Lynn 
started actually caring for it. And this is our pile of dirt that we haven't finished using. <laughs> There's another line. Nice suns. It's going to be nice sunset. Yeah. Over there. Oh, and there, the big dig behind that is where I'm going to plant two more trees. I'm going to plant a sapodilla and a... Uh, what was the other one? And was that a sapodilla fruit that we ate yeah. yesterday? Yeah, sapodilla, it looks like a kiwi, um, and it kind of of the consistency of a kiwi. It has some seeds in it, and it tastes like brown sugar. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was very sweet. So we're going to grow one. 